Good day, everyone. It is my pleasure to present to you the Philippine Good Agricultural Practices, or FILGAP, its market opportunities, challenges, and strategies. I am Michelle E. Javier from the Republic of the Philippines, Department of Agriculture, Bureau of Plant Industry, Los Baños National Crop Research, Development, and Production Support Center. FILGAP has been implemented in the country mainly for food safety purposes. In fact, it is in accordance to the Food Safety Act of 2013 or the Republic Act Number 10611, an act to strengthen the food safety regulatory system in the country to protect consumer health and facilitate market access of local foods and food products and for other purposes. You see right now the filled up mark or the logo. This is the mark that you will see on certified products and the produce available in the market. As of 2021, fill gap is 97.35% aligned to ASEAN gap. This is equivalent to 220 out of 226 provisions on four modules. On the food safety module, fill gap is 100% aligned to ASEAN gap, and the Philippine government is currently working on the full harmonization on the remaining three modules, which are produce quality, environmental management, and workers' health safety and welfare. As of May 2021, we have 682 FILGAP certified farms and their certificates are already valid for two years. So as you can see on this chart, 76% of all the certified farms uh, are located in Luzon Island or the biggest island in the country, 26% of which are located in the Cordillera Administrative Region or CAR and this is followed by Region 3, Region 4A, Region 2, and Region 1. Now, for the farm sizes, the filled up certified farms are as follow. So you can see here, 94% um, of the total number are small hold, and a very few farms belong to corporate farms, station farms, and even cooperatives. So for the small hold farms, we considered here the production areas that are not more than one hectare. Now, based on crops, you can see on the chart, I have divided this into two. So you can see fruits and vegetables and other crops. So 53% of the total number of certified farms are mainly or solely producing fruits. And this is equivalent to 359 fruit farms with a total production area of 88,000 273.17 hectares. Now, out of 359 farms, only 6% or 23 farms are producing dragon fruits with a total production area of 55.95 hectares. So these are a few of our certified farms that produce dragon fruits. So you can see in this slide the Green Balai Farm. And then second is the Banyaga Agri Farm. So as you can see with the figures that we have shown a while ago, the Philippine government has a lot to do with the certification to continue encourage our farmers to go on certification so that our numbers will increase, increase more and more uh, uh, in the future. So um, one of the strategies that we are doing right now in the country to continuously encourage our farmers to go on to certification is that we show them the opportunities that they can get from the fill gap certification. And a few of these opportunities are as follow. Number one is access to international market. So currently we are exporting our fresh dragon fruits to the following countries. Canada, Singapore, and Bahrain. Although at very low volumes, we started exporting to them and a total of 0 0.059 metric ton has been exported. This is data as of 2020. We believe that this has increased this year as of 2021, but we, s we are still having um, finalization when it comes to the data. So we reflected as of 2020. Not only the access to international markets, of course, they also have an advantage on local markets. So you can see on the slide, the first photo is the BAP TC or the Benguet Agri Pinoy Trading Center, the most famous, probably the most famous 
and one of the biggest trading centers in the country. This is um, located in CAR also in the Cordillera Administrative Region. And you can see on the second photo, there are specified stalls or tents, locations for which um, our certified farms can display and sell their products and their produce. So a few more photos here on the following slides. So you can see fresh produce, vegetables, fruits. You can even see the seal or the filled up mark on the labels. Not only the fresh produce, they can also sell and display their products. And again, you can see the seal or the filled up mark. Okay, a lot of our farmers have been processing their produce and um, selling it to markets and um, caravans. So these are just a few. And then more opportunities is the advantage on institutional buyers. So not just that we have an assurance that we have a market, we have an outlet, but of course we are also concerned with the premium price that our producers can get. So Rustan Supermarket is one of the leading and the major supermarkets in the country, especially in the metropolitan area. And uh, you can see on the second photo that the surf GAP certified products are beautifully stacked and uh, surely it will entice and it will encourage our consumers to buy from this section. And again, with this separate um, stall or section, this also depicts an advantage over the other products that are available in the market. So this is another photo showing the separate section for fill gap certified produce and products. So you can clearly see here the gap certified label and even the fill gap logo being shown on the, the shelves. Okay, with uh, these opportunities, of course, we are also encountering a lot of challenges. That's why you can see still very low um, adoption and the certified farms and on our end. So um, in contrast to these opportunities, allow me also to show our challenges that we have encountered. So number one is the low adoption rate among farms. So it is a common problem among our farms to um, have a difficulty complying to the requirements set by the Philippine national standards. And um, as a strategy, we are really trying our best to assist them and encourage them to follow with the, com uh, with the standards so that uh, in the future, they will also enjoy the opportunities and the benefits that they can get from the certification. Okay, number two is the limited inspectors. So currently, our pool of inspectors are all from the Department of Agriculture. All the inspectors like me are employed under the department, mainly from the regional field offices and the Bureau of Plant Industry, from uh, where I am affiliated to. And then another challenge is the lack of information drive. The information drive as to what are the benefits that you can get from being certified and on the part of our consumers, what is the advantage of buying um, certified products, some uh, things like, that, like those. And then somehow to address these challenges, we also have strategies in place. Number one strategy is the free certification and trainings that we offer. So from the start of our implementation of the fill, fill gap in the country, um, we have been offering this for free, not just the certification itself, but the trainings from where our farmers can learn what really fill gap is, what are the benefits they can get, what are the pros and cons, etc. And then we also are keeping active market linkages. So not just the active markets and out outlets, but of course, we are assuring the premium price that our producers can get as an advantage over uh, those who are not fill gap certified. More strategies is, of course, we are prioritizing our farms that are fill gap certified and those also who are into certification who have already efforts towards certification. So we believe that these interventions such as pro uh, provision of inputs, farm inputs that they need for production, as well as infrastructure projects, we believe that this will increase the potentials of our farmers and our farms in general 
uh, towards their production and market strategies in the future. Moreover, we are also have we, we are also having retooling and training of inspectors. As I have mentioned, we are still limited when it comes to the number of inspectors, but currently we are continuously retooling ourselves so that we can offer the best quality uh, the best quality of services that we can offer when it comes to um, inspecting our farms and assisting them on how they can uh, succeed with the certification process and then of course we are also having information drives such as harvest festivals and farmers congress so this is a very good venue for our enthusiasts producers players in the industry and even our consumers this is a, a very good venue to which they can exchange knowledge and ideas and of course mainly to inform everyone of the advantages and benefits that they can get from being fill gap certified farms uh, moreover to the information drives we also have a video promotion this is actually available on youtube so if uh, anyone is interested you can just type fill gap bureau of plant industry and you will see this uh, very simple and yet very informative video of our fill gap certification what is fill gap and all those uh, basic information that you need to to uh, learn from it okay so with these strategies, we also have ways forward. So we have identified two. One is the continuous monitoring of fill gap certified farms for possible exportation. Of course, we would like to assist our farmers to the fullest so that they can really enjoy the opportunities that are being offered by fill gap certification. And then number two is um, a current project of the Philippine government we have complied to the requirements for possible market linkage to Australia for dragon fruit. So currently we are waiting for their response and we are really hoping that we can proceed with the exportation soon. Okay, so uh, these are just our references in preparing the, the slides, the presentations. You, we would like to thank the Phil Gap Secretariat based on our central office, Bureau of Plant Industry, Plant Product Safety Services Division, and of course the export data that we also got from the central office, National Plant Quarantine Services Division. With this, um, thank you very much for listening. This is all we can share for the Philippine Good Agricultural Practices. If you have queries, uh, you may reach us on the following contact details.